Does AKC have a database for people to look up like your dog scores like they do in no. universal tests? No. Unfortunately, That's the only thing I've yeah. ever been able to guide anybody. Yeah. I'm like, you can take that dog and find out every dog that it's sired yeah. or every dog that it's whelped. Which is great with, and, with NAVDA and for And that sure. gives you a little picture of, and then, then those little markers show up like, yeah. wow, the whole litter only got a two in water. Right. You know, right. And that's Which you be... would love to have that. I mean, if you do that ahead yeah. of time, right? <laughs> right. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, NAVDA is wonderful for, for that. Unfortunately, AKC just hasn't gone just, that far. It's so probably too big, too it, deep. It would be. And then you look at your hunt test, right? So mm -hmm. basically, you just would have to ask somebody for the scorecard or whatever, right? right that, and that's dog. not a bad question as a new person so. asking a breeder. No. I mean, I always tell people too, right? Like titles are titles and titles are great. Right. You know, like utility and um, master hunters oh. and it's showing a dog's trainability. Exactly. But you know, I we've seen some dogs too that are titled out the wazoo and is it a wild bird dog? No. No. So, it, it, I mean, it goes it way may beyond. may not even be able to be one. Right, right. exactly. Right. So <laughs> it's gonna show a dog's trainability. So yes, that is definitely a great thing for people to, um, you know, touch on and to look at and to maybe educate themselves. But don't put all the don't cookies. put all your merit just just on that. Right. What what have these people done with their dogs? Mm -hmm. Ask to see videos. Ask to. I've had people that say, "Can I come out and watch the dogs work?" Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I mean? See the parents work or um, somebody who's looking for you know a, a good dog that holds a lot of merit. What people yeah. have done and been able to you know hunt, hunt with their dogs. I stuff. suggested to a fellow one time. He had three breeds picked out. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Try to ask around. It, go like a local gun club or a sporting. There's always a sporting clays or a trap yeah. club. You'll find some of the hunters there. And they'll, that'll get you in the ballpark. Mm -hmm. I said, there could be a Brittany Spaniel breeder three quarters of a mile away that you never met. Yeah. But if, if you like that person, you're going to end up liking that breed. Yeah, for sure. And it kind of, that's where like the breeders, maybe the red flag would be, if you don't think you'd like to have a, a you know, a, a drink or a dinner out with this person, yeah, maybe not the right person. Right. They mm -hmm. should be like almost over friendly. Yeah, for sure. Um, Some of our best friends that we have you probably made are, through absolutely uh, yeah. like through through dogs. People who bought dogs from me, like Lisa and Pete, who you know as well. Yeah. We uh, grouse hunt with them every year, and right. we became friends because I used their stud dog. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, Which you one know, did you use? Um, Coney. Coney. Yeah, we okay. used him a couple times. So, and we've become great friends with them. Um, right. You know, we've done Iowa pheasant trips and grouse hunting every year with them, and they're fantastic pe and, and know, the people. And the neat part about that is, I've told people, and I'm sure you would back that up, especially based on that little story about Lisa and Pete. Yeah. Someone's looking for a dog. If you're a good breeder, you're not afraid to suggest that person. Right. I don't have anything. Yeah. But check you know, these guys out. Check those. Absolutely. A breeder that will share that information with you is proud of what they have. Yeah. And wants to put you into a dog. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know? and that, yeah. It happens, but yeah. You, you can, those are another question you can ask somebody. You can say, if you can tell, like if somebody came to your kennel, if they've done a little, maybe they're, let's just say they're on their second dog. Right. First time, maybe not. Yeah. But, <laughs> but they would have to know, or they could know by watching this video, yeah. that these dogs go out into a lot of homes and a lot of times like another breeder likes your dog, you yeah. bred to it. Yes. You're basically getting a dog from legacy kennels, but it might be up in Fenton, Michigan. Yes, exactly. Basically, yeah. or you're getting the similar lines because you two. Yes. So um, a breeder you know, that shares and... other breeders' information. Yeah, for that's sure. That's kind of a vein of honesty, it, I think. It is, it, it's, it's a good thing too. And um, I always, you know, have a group of other breeders that I come highly recommend, you mm -hmm. know? Yes, absolutely. They're great to work with, purchase a dog from. Yeah. Uh, and you know and you hear of these breeders because you all kind of work together for, you know, a better purpose and, right. you know, producing a better dog, you know, and sometimes I'll hear a name and I'll be like, well, I haven't heard of that. And I feel like I've been around long enough that right. I know, you know, a good bit of the well-known. You recognize you know. them. Yeah, right, 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 for sure. And again, new breeder, that's not a bad thing. No. Just are they doing the right things? You if know? they've got a mentor Do they have like mentorship, you, right, yeah. You know. Do they have a good mentor to work right. with? And Your you neighbor know. could be the next 
yeah. the next great breeder on the there's, block. There's a lot of breeders in Michigan. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a lot of breeders all over. I, I so. tell people you can find German short hair in a parking lot. You but could, I think totally. You should, I think you should do a little more research. Yeah. Right. My yeah. first one was $45 in a Muskegon Chronicle. There yeah. you go. It's about what it was worth. <laughs> <laughs> When you know you have a litter coming up, mm -hmm. in, in like good most good breeders, you probably have a waiting list. Yeah, um, I and I sometimes that can be maybe just because of the gender of the dog. Yeah, you know, person's on a wait list. I'm waiting for a female. You yeah. don't have a female, so sure. that person's already kind of vetted. Oh, for sure, for right. sure. Yeah, right. you've you've already you know spoke to them at, at great length right. as far as you know what they want. Me in particular, I have um, kind of some different lines that I work with. You know mm -hmm. that. Some that are more, you know, my big winning show dogs mm -hmm. that, yeah, you'll be able to do hunt tests with it. Really? I'm not sure it's going to be a phenomenal, you know, wild bird dog or it's not going to be, you know, a, a big running dog. It's going to find birds. It's right. just maybe not going to do right. a fantastic, you know, right. bang up job. Um, that dog's background doesn't have that much data yes, in it. Yes, correct. But I would say if there's a German shorter out there that doesn't hunt, I, yeah. haven't, I haven't seen it. Yes. Hunt for you, maybe not. Right, right exactly. Yeah. You, Whole point long enough, yeah. maybe not. Yeah, and but you're gonna have that it's, variation. It's a hell of a breed. Yeah, I mean, for I, sure. I, I I did get one good one once yeah. upon a time. <laughs> that so, doesn't sound good. If this no, but I've only had two. Right, okay, like there a you bad go. One, <laughs> and a good and I one. I finally went to a real breeder. Yeah. To a real kennel. Yeah. And got, a got to know the person, and yeah. I was like, wow, I, I, it's like buying a something off a of Facebook marketplace can part to go into a department store. <laughs> right. Like I know I can bring it back to the department store. Yeah, right? exactly. Right. right? The guy in Facebook, I don't know yeah. where it lives. You know? Oh yeah. No, for but, sure. And yeah, you're going to get it again, a variation of bloodlines, you know, yeah. like I have some that I know are going to be, you know, super competitive in the show ring and mm -hmm. you want a great wild bird dog. This is going to be the litter for you. Right. So, you know, I'll, you know, find out what people are looking for right. and, you know, talk about certain pairings that perhaps I have coming up right. and, um, you know, and then, yeah, add them to the, to the waiting list and right. then work closely with them to find that right fit and that right, right puppy. So, well, now we got to do the fun stuff. Yeah. Let's go out to the kennel. Cause I got a lot of questions. Okay. <laughs> I have a favor to ask you. Actually, Tagus has a favor to ask you. If you like the content you've been watching, you got to hit the like and the subscribe button. I'd ask you to do it, but he's never figured that out. Really appreciate it.